What's happening, everybody? Welcome back. This is Forgo, and today I'm going to give you a guide on how to take down Infinity Ultron. Now, the first thing that I want to mention is this new UI. I really, really love it because over here in the right-hand corner, you got all. You can hit Ultimate, which just shows all the World Boss Ultimates. You can hit Legend. that shows all the World Boss Legends. And this is actually pretty cool and really makes things easy for you to find. So that's something I really like. Now, in Infinity Ultron, you are, you well, you do have a slight chance of getting a mighty CTP or Destruction, which is actually pretty cool. And then, of course, a random book now something to keep in mind when you're facing infinity ultron is that he is a universal type so if you have any kind of buffs that can go against universal types like ebony maul that's going to be really really beneficial and helpful to your characters now infinity ultron has some unique and different mechanics other than null and mephisto in some ways he is more difficult in some ways he's actually easier it really depends on your perception and how you deal with his attacks. But he's a really, really cool character. And I've spent hours and hours and hours practicing against this guy to figure out how to deal with his movements, right? That is something about uh, Ultron that's pretty crazy is that he likes to move around the screen quite a bit, especially early on. So, and he's one of them characters that you want to be dealing constant damage to. Now, the first tip that I can give you guys is if you do go against Ultron, if you got really, really strong characters, I got 25% peers, you can actually do some quick one shots. And whenever you first start off the fight with this guy, if you're able to do enough damage to him, you can actually, before he hits the four minute and 30 second 36 second mark then you can actually take him down in two shots no problem right whenever he gets down to the eighth bar he's actually going to go into an ultimate mode but we'll talk a little bit more about that here in a second so let me go ahead and bring up some gameplay for you guys and i'll show you what he's doing here so this is the one of the movesets that he does early on in the fight in the very beginning okay whenever you first jump into this thing He'll do some attacks, and if you don't do enough damage to him, he'll go into he'll start doing these movements. So this is one of them right here, and all you gotta do is just run around. You got some spears that drop down. Very, very easy attack to avoid, no problem at all. Okay. Now you see the little pink meter there that's got like a little Ultron icon next to it. That meter, whenever that thing is filling up, that's when whenever it fills completely up, that's when he's going to go into another phase and where he can do some serious, serious damage to you. Your objective early on is to be attacking him. Now, right now, whenever he hits four minutes and 36 seconds in the fight, he'll become invulnerable. So right now, during this attack, he's actually invulnerable. He won't take any damage at all. And this is one of the attacks where he's invulnerable. And then here's another one, okay? So in this attack, he's going to do three dash forwards at you. Very easy to avoid. You'll see the purple, and you're just going to run around. Characters with really good movement speed are going to be very, very good for this. You'll see how I avoid it. Just kind of run away. It's real simple. Pretty slow and methodic move as far as what he's doing right? And then he's going to do another one here where he does these big slashes. Now, this does have penetration, and so does the one before, because these are purple attacks. All you got to do is just run to the other side, get behind him, right? Just like this, right? He'll do a little big old swipe. It's got a lot of AOE on it, and get behind him, right? He'll do it three times. He does the dash four three times, and he'll do that three times as well, where he does the big swipe. So that's early on in the fight. Now, what he does is, when that purple meter fills up, after that thing fills up, you're going to go into this phase right here, what you're looking at right now. Now, and what he does is there's going to be attacks coming from the right, uh, the right, the top, the bottom, and the left, right? What you want to do is you want to, well, you just watch what I do here. So you see where I'm standing right now, okay? Now you see the teleportation, whatever you want to call it, show up. What you want to do is you want to be near the first one that shows up, and once it shoots, Go into it and then run counterclockwise. Okay, so here we go. It shoots, we run in there, we go counterclockwise. Just like that, guys. It's that easy, okay? Now you see one show up from the bottom, okay? We're going to do the same thing. We're going to run away as it shoots out. There we go. Just like so. And I'll show you guys that again here in a little bit. It's a really, really easy attack to avoid as long as you prepare to know what's going on okay so we're going to keep going and i'll show you guys again so here it's just starting from the bottom left hand corner i know you just saw this but it's good to show it again right sometimes it'll start start from the the top right corner and sometimes it'll start from the bottom left hand corner so i thought it'd be good to show both both ways in order to avoid the set so when it starts from the bottom see how i've done that right 
And I'll just kind of back it up. We'll, I'll show you guys again here. It shows up and then I take off running and we're going counterclockwise again. It's a really easy attack to avoid once you understand it. Now, this is going to be a run where I actually will use my awakened skills and just kind of do kind of a faster run to show you guys what it looks like maybe for like some of us players that have a lot, a lot of pierce. And then I'm going to show you guys a prolonged run where I don't use an awakened skill so you get a good idea of all of Ultron's movements and what he's actually doing. So in the very beginning, he shows up as Vision. Obviously, that's because who he is. Well, sort of. And you want to attack him as much as possible. And once this timer reaches 4 minutes and 36 seconds, you're not going to be able to do any damage to him. He's going to become invulnerable, and he's going to do one of those three attacks I showed you earlier. Well, actually, it could be one of four. There's another attack that I think we'll show here. But you just want to attack him relentlessly, okay? Just keep attacking, attacking, attacking. And once it reaches 4 minutes and 36 seconds, he'll become invulnerable. This happens every single time. You can just go frontal assault on him. Now, he does move around a lot. And he can be a little bit difficult to get a hold of. Now, notice that I'm keeping that meter down because Makari does a lot, a lot of hits. As long as you're doing hits to him, that pink meter will go down, right? It, it works uh, the opposite of how Mephisto's rage meter works. So you want to keep attacking, even if it's, it doesn't matter how much damage you're doing. As long as you're attacking, that meter is going to stay down where he doesn't want to go into the next phase. And that's really what you're trying to do. You're trying to avoid that. So this is another one of the attacks that he does. Uh, of the, the I showed you three earlier and this is another one that he actually can do So you just want to run into the little safe place there the safe ring and you'll be fine And now we've got him down to the eighth bar now when every time you get him down to the eighth bar Where you're seeing it right now. He'll become invulnerable. and He's gonna go straight into the next phase He'll do this every time he'll go straight into the next phase And now this here will show up a lot of times all right now watch what I do the top right shows up and then I just go run counterclockwise and I avoid all that damage right don't get hit once you can also switch your character as well if you feel like you're going to get hit that'll also avoid those attacks all right now we're going to wait and this is where it gets really really wacky okay so when he goes in this phase right and this is where you might as well just say you know ultimate mode or in rage mode, whatever you want to call it, whenever you see the uh, Infinity Stone icons there, he's going to start using his Infinity Stones. He's going to keep getting an Infinity Stone, and it's going to do a certain attack to you. Now, no matter what attack hits you, it can actually time freeze you. And it doesn't matter, by the way, if you even have Adam Warlock, having the immunity time freeze won't matter. You'll still get time frozen. The Infinity Stones conquer all. And, by the way, in this part of the game mode, your undead passive won't work, your revive won't work, you won't be able to revive if you get time frozen. You are just dead. You're completely one-shotted no matter what character you actually play with in this side of the game mode. And before, when you have the lighter looking stages early on, the revive will work, the undead passive will work. So take a look at what these Infinity Stones do. So first he's... Uh, now, I want you to notice what I just did there, okay? So I did a basic attack, and if you notice that little purple meter that has the little Ultron icon, that thing went down. Basic attacks are very, very important in this part of the phase. Whenever you're in this, right, you got the darker mode going on, you want to do your basic attacks, and generally you got to do three basic attacks to take Ultron down to where he's begging on his knees, and you can actually do a lot of damage to him. So you saw me do a couple basic attacks there to take that meter down a little bit, and let's see what happens. So here's the blue Infinity Stone, and what it does is it does the big swipe attack. It'll do it three times, and believe me, if you get hit by that thing, you will get time frozen. Best way to avoid it is just get behind him if you can, and you see me do a couple more basic attacks, and you see that purple meter actually coming down even more. In between, whenever he's getting these uh, Infinity Stones, you want to do a basic attack. And characters that have these long-range basic attacks, especially like Doom and Makari, they are godly. Because they can be at a distance and actually use those things, which is nice. You don't have to get up close to Ultron to actually you know, break down that meter a little bit. So now we kind of have the uh, gold-looking stone. And it just has these little rising geysers. If you hit one of those geysers, if you touch one of them, you will get time frozen. Now you see the purple stone where it does a, a giant AOE attack. You just want to go into that empty circle there, right there, and then you can actually use your basic attack right here because there's a little moment where Ultron pauses and you actually use your basic attack. 
I'm not going to here because I'm trying to show you guys all of his movements and what he's actually doing. But right here, I could have took Makari. I could have shot him with my basic attack a couple times, broke that meter completely down, that purple meter, and then he would have been begging on his knees and I could have done a lot of uh, damage. But I want to show you what these other stones do. So the green stone will do this attack. Now, there's a couple ways to avoid this. One, you can just kind of run straight forward and then dash to the, or just, and then go veer off to your left or right to avoid it. Or you can switch your character like what I'm going to do right here. So I'll switch my character here, boom, right there. And now I'm just going to avoid it by running away. See, if you turn at the last second and run away from it, you will avoid it. And then you see the next stone here, the red stone, does these spears. Very easy to avoid. You just got to run away. And then the last stone, the purple stone, will do this attack where you want to get into that nice empty area. So that is all the infinity stones. And by the way, guys, if you don't take him down, if you don't take that purple meter down before he enters the last stone, well, you're going to see what happens. Boom. You're automatically time frozen and you will get one shotted. And then this whole process starts all over again. Yeah. And you're dead. And then you start all over again with your next character. And yeah, it, it's... So you really want to make sure that you're doing your basic attacks. Whenever you see this purple meter built up, it says Ultron is activating Optimation Mode. Whenever that purple meter right above that, whenever you see that thing built up, you want to do a basic attack to try to break it down. It's usually going to take about three basic attacks to do that. Like right oh, there, I didn't do it. And there I got time frozen, right? And now I'm going to die. And you pretty much just get one shot. That's the thing about Ultron that makes him so difficult is he has a lot of one shot mechanics. But once you understand these movesets and you understand what he's doing and how to avoid them, nine times out of ten, you'll be able to avoid a lot of these attacks and do very, very well. So this is going to be a prolonged run where I don't use my awakened skills so you guys can actually see what this looks like in a, a, a elongated run. All right. And I'm just going to use Makari here. There we go. And so he does these attacks, but they're really nothing, guys. Like, you can just go frontal assault. You don't have to worry about them. They don't have penetration or nothing like that. It isn't until the purple attack shows up that you actually have to deal with penetration. And I imagine when we get to higher stages, it's going to get pretty rough. So he does this three times. Get behind him. It's good to be in the center of the screen, by the way, when he's doing that as well. Because it's going to be easier to get away from those attacks. And then he goes into this, right? And we go counterclockwise, just like so. Very easy. We start attacking, right? We're not in the dark phase. We're not into where he's doing the ultimate mode. So we can just go barreling in, keep attacking. Usually you can go through a couple rotations. And then he'll, you know, have some kind of invulnerable attack that he can go to. So now he goes into an iframe and he's pretty much invulnerable, right? And this is one of four attacks that he can do, but now we can attack again and keep that meter from rising, that pink meter from rising, right? And once we get down to the eighth bar, right now, he just be key has a shield that shows up and he becomes invulnerable, okay? There we go. That debuff, by the way, is very, very nice uh, for the Eternals. So godly. So now we're in this phase. We're going to attack a little bit. I landed a shot with uh, Cersei there. Get behind him. And again, get into the center of the screen when he's doing this because it's going to be easy to avoid those. We do some basic attacks, right? We take down that purple meter. We're going to run around a little bit. We do a couple more basic attacks. And now Ultron's on his knees. He goes back to vision. And we can do a lot, a lot of damage to him. I'm not using my awaken skill because I want to show you guys what it looks like if you don't do enough damage to him, what he does. And he's just going to repeat the whole process all over again. So if you don't do enough damage to him, He's just going to do this all again. So we're going to run over here, and he's going to do these teleportation attacks, right? Again, we just run counterclockwise. And we're just going to wait. He shoots for that top right one, and we enter it, and then we just run counterclockwise again. You'll get the hang of it as you play it more and more and more. It just takes a little bit of practice. And now he's going to go into ultimate mode. We're going to do land some basic attacks. There we go. Got to be careful of that attack there because he'll draw you in. Run around. And guys, he just does the same things over and over and over. You'll get the drift of it. And again, center of the screen is a real good place to be. And characters with good movement speed are really godly here as well. 
because of those kinds of attacks. Now you can again switch your characters to avoid getting time frozen if worse comes to worse. And now we just do our basic attack. And Booyah, guys, right? And I wanted to show you this because, you know, having 25% pierce and only doing stage one, it's actually pretty damn easy. So I wanted to show you what it looks like with a good elongated run. That way you could get an idea of all the movements and when he does things and what kind of movements he actually does. So it would better prepare you to take this boss on. I mean, Ultron is freaking awesome. He's a really, really cool boss because he's a boss that is actually going to cause all of us like YouTubers and really all of the player base to reassess the value of certain characters, right? Certain characters are going to shine more, I think, against this boss than other characters because you need to do constant hits to him to make sure that pink meter doesn't completely rise all the way up right so he doesn't go into that dark mode immediately because when he does that's when he can actually one shot you and your revives and your undead passives won't work for those specific characters so it's something that's really cool about him i actually really like that they made basic attacks relevant that is sick and you want to do basic attacks in, in those moments because they're really really fast and you don't have time to sit there and use your skills because if you do, you'll just get time frozen and you will die. So I'm really loving this boss. I'm having so much fun fighting Ultron. And hopefully this will help some of you out out there as far as dealing with Ultron. So let me know how y'all doing against this guy. And I do stream on Twitch at 9 p.m. GMT plus 7 time. The link is in the description below. And I hope you enjoyed the video. Thank you for watching, y'all. Take care and have a good one. See you, everybody.